Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, okay, it has been 30 days since I started the diet. Um, how much have I lost? How much have I cheated? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, pretty much, you know, same thing. Working out six days a week. Same as I always have before I even started the diet. And... Um, it, you know you're in like ketosis, you know, because of your bowel movements, ew. Um, but I, I notice a change. Not only do I, I physically notice a change, I actually see a change in the mirror. Not that I like to stand there and stare at myself. Um, but I, I definitely notice a change. I notice the, uh, the abs starting to appear through my pony keg. Um, my six pack and um, I, I don't feel hungry like uh, before the diet I would like always want to snack I like it didn't matter if it was like you know chocolate milk balls or cashews or pistachios or fruit grapes plums whatever I would always snack throughout the day um, but now I've gotten to the point where you know I have my protein shake in the morning and then um, Normally, I would eat like an, uh, one or two hard-boiled eggs when I get back from the gym, or maybe I'll make myself some scrambled eggs and a piece of ham, like a, a full breakfast, right? Um, so I'm going to try and not do that just because of my weight results, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, I'm going to try and eat a little bit more with my protein shake, like I might have my protein shake plus a couple of hard boiled eggs. And I wanna, cause I usually do that around six o'clock in the morning. So I wanna do that. I also have my coffee, don't forget, I have my coffee at like five o'clock in the morning. Um, and yes, I'm up at like 4.30 every day. My body hits six and a half hours, seven hours of sleep, done. Cannot sleep anymore, it won't let me. Um, so I will do that in the morning and then I will try and uh, prolong having you know lunch until noon obviously and then I'll have a smaller lunch um, I'm gonna try and size that down a little bit and then curtail my dinners as well like last night instead of eating the full you know ribeye steak like this big I just cut it in half and I just ate the other half for lunch um, so I cut it in half and I had like six pieces of shrimp with some cocktail sauce so I'm gonna try and um, eat less um, than I normally have been because I want to try and lower the amount of calories that I take in each day to help with the weight loss portion of it. Not that I need to, I'm just, I want to see how this next 30 days would respond to doing that. Um, so in eating, um, my meal portions were typically, you know, normal they're you know not somewhat big but like last night i mean a normal meal portion would have been that whole ribeye steak and like six shrimp with some sauce um i'm trying you know like i said i'm gonna cut those down uh the cheating <laughs> well like i had i had lunch with a good buddy of mine uh we've known each other for 15 years we were co-workers together uh, we get together every one or two months and we always go to chili's and we always get the fajitas so you've got you know, carbs there with the, um, the little tortillas. So I had one tortilla with my fajita. And if you know, they're like, they're really small little tortillas. So I had one and then I felt guilty. <laughs> so, and then I just ate the rest of the chicken, the meat and the shrimp. And I got the trio, the fajita trio. Um, let's see, I haven't had any chocolate since my last video two weeks ago, no chocolate. Um, which is really unusual for me. I'm usually, I shit you not, I, eat I used to eat chocolate almost every day. I had those little malt milk balls I showed you before in one of the other videos. I would always have like two or three of those a day throughout the five day week and maybe a couple on the weekends or something else. Um, can't, you know, the, the dairy thing, ice cream at night, I can't do that anymore. Um, but you know, back in the day, I'd do ice cream with some of that hardened chocolate shell stuff that you put on it. Oh my God, um, 
Horrible. <laughs> no wonder I was getting so fat. Um, but yeah, so not too much cheating. Um, like I, I do still have sauces. Um, I'll always have like sauces with my chicken or sauces with steak. And I got some A1 steak sauce or we got this, you know, fat free chicken so uh, chicken flavored sauce. I showed you a few of those before. Um, so I try and use the, the fat free ones, which or sugar free, sorry, not fat free, sugar free ones um, to try and keep, you know, sugar and carbs down. Um, so I'm gonna try not to cheat anymore and eat any carbs like I did yesterday. <laughs> My son took me to lunch, we had tapenaki, and you know, they always get that first thing they'd give you is a big chunk of rice, right? And then they give you the, the teriyaki vegetables and yeah. So I did have a little bit of rice, not gonna lie. It was so good. Oh my God. Um, so anyway, a little bit of cheating. I'm gonna try and not cheat for the next 30 days. I'll still have sauces. I still have my creamer in my, my coffee. Um, I'm, I'm alternating between the sugar-free and the non-sugar-free one because I love the Irish cream one. Uh, I don't know if you guys put coffee creamer. I don't know if you like Irish cream, but this shit is the bomb. Oh, I love it. Um, so I'm, I'm alternating between that and the zero sugar Italian cream. So I'm trying, but it's so hard. Um, let's see. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and curtail my meals to lower my calorie intake. Um, to see if I could, because my, my original weight before I started, as you know, if you've seen the previous videos, I was 222 pounds, 0.4. I'm six foot tall um, and I work out a lot. So I got a lot of muscle weight. Um, and the two week point I hit, I had lost six pounds. I had, I hit 216.4. For some reason, my scale likes 0.4. Um, and then today, Guess what the point part was? Um, today, I, I always weigh myself at the same time on the Mondays that I, every two weeks when I weigh myself, I don't cheat and look because I don't want to know. I want to wait for that two weeks to see if there's been some, you know, benefit. So today under the same conditions, you know, getting ready to get in the shower type thing, I weighed myself and I weighed 212.4. So I've lost 10 pounds in 30 days, and all I've done is changed my eating habits. Well, you know, I haven't completely abided by the diet because I have cheated a little bit. So I'm gonna try not cheat, and I'm gonna try and watch my meal portions a little bit more this next month. Uh, as I mentioned before, my ideal goal weight is, is 200 pounds. Um, I don't know if I'll get there, but I'm gonna try. And I'm, I'm giving myself 90 days. So I'm gonna do these videos every two weeks, kind of check in, see how things are going. Um, just documenting it for you. I'm not a dietitian. I don't play one on TV. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. I am just sharing with you my experience in doing the carnivore diet. Um, things are going well. And I look forward to the next two weeks to see if we lose some more weight. So thanks for tuning in. Keep it posted. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm. See ya!